Hello and welcome again. In this quick tip video, I will show you how to easily create an animation from multiple blend files. Let's just say you have two dot blend files and you have an animation on each of them, a different animation. And you want, you want to make a movie from both of them. Now a sim I will show you a simple way to do that. First you open one of them and you just render it. I have here a simple a simple monkey animation as you can see. And instead of instead of rendering to a movie format, choose a image format like a PNG or JPEG or whatever you want. Also choose the destination folder for your files. I'll choose this one and the sampling is good for the moment and just press render image or ctrl F12 to render it I will not render it now because I already did it as you can see I have the images in here but I will give you a tip you also do that for the second dot blend file a tip that I was going to give you was that if you save both of the destination on the same folder be sure you name at least one of the blend files I'll name this one second because if you don't name uh, either the first one or the second one the second one will override the first images so you won't have the images from both the blend files only from the last rendered okay so now you re you render the both dot blend files so what's next just open a new blend file just the default one and choose the vid video sequence editor and in here you can press this for the preview and select add image and now you select the images that you rendered as you can see I select all the images that I rendered and select add image strip ok place it correctly by right clicking and left click into place and as you can see we have combined them into a video now make sure you put the end frame where you want on my video it's 41 or something like that and now we can render to a movie format again choose the destination folder I'll name this video and for this video I'll choose xvid ok the encoding is right and press ctrl F12 as you can see it renders its each image individually and it makes a movie out of them as you can see the movie is right here it has finished this method I actually learned about it first time from Andrew Price from BlenderGuru.com and it's actually a very useful technique because if you have a, a bigger render time let's just say two days it takes to render an animation it's better to render first to an image because if you render to a movie format and the let's just say the computer shutdowns that movie file will be corrupted and you cannot use it you, you must render again from the beginning but if you render the if you if you render to an image you can anytime just pause the rendering and restart from from where you left so it's a very useful technique and I recommend you use it more often 
Alright, thank you for watching and see you next time.